Have you ever wondered why that shelf-stable salad dressing stays perfectly mixed and doesn't separate? Or how your store-bought packaged cakes can stay moist for so long? You might be surprised to learn that the answer lies in emulsifiers. Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm an IBD dietitian. Today, let's uncover the mysteries of common emulsifier ingredients and how they might affect gut health, especially for those with Crohn's or colitis. Did you know that over half the processed foods we consume might have emulsifiers? These additives can potentially increase inflammation, alter the gut's microbiome, and aggravate IBD symptoms. Some common names like carrageenan, maltodextrin, gums, and lecithin might sound technical, but they're found in numerous everyday foods. These agents help maintain the texture and longevity of many processed food products. Imagine your gut as a lush, diverse rainforest. Just as deforestation can disrupt a rainforest ecosystem, emulsifiers might disturb our gut's delicate balance. While initial animal studies have linked emulsifiers to changes in gut bacteria, we're still waiting for more comprehensive research in humans. However, several gastroenterologists I've shared patients with are in agreement that the evidence particularly concerning certain emulsifiers like maltodextrin and carrageenan, is convincing enough to recommend omitting these ingredients from the diet. As a result, many current IBD therapeutic diets now advise against consuming these potentially harmful food additives. Knowledge is power, so let's dive deeper into some of these emulsifiers, learn where they might be hiding, and discuss some alternatives. Lecithin often found in mayonnaise, salad dressings, and even some fruit juices, dairy products, and bread. Consider opting for versions which may not contain this ingredient. Carrageenan. This seaweed derivative is everywhere. Cheese, processed meats, ice cream, and even vegan gelatin substitutes. It's been linked to digestive issues, so when choosing dairy or plant-based products, keep an eye out for brands without carrageenan. Maltodextrin. Your instant pudding or sauce might contain maltodextrin, which studies suggest can alter gut bacteria unfavorably. So the next time you're shopping, opt for sauces or products without maltodextrin. Polysorbate 80 and methylcellulose. Both of these emulsifiers found in items like ice creams and breads have been shown to have gut disturbing effects in animal studies. So it's always worth checking the food label the next time you indulge. And xanthan gum. Common in gluten-free products and dressings, Xanthan gum can cause digestive discomfort. For those on a gluten-free diet, consider naturally gluten-free foods like rice or products labeled gum-free. The next time you're navigating the grocery store aisles, take a minute to closely check food labels and compare the ingredients that different products are formulated with. And if that seems overwhelming, consider seeking assistance from an IBD dietitian like myself. But opting for more whole or minimally processed alternatives can make a significant difference, especially for those with Crohn's or colitis. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more insights on nutrition for IBD. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.